Hey, what's up? How's it going? I got the prepped canvas going. I got the baggy shirt on. I think we all know what time of year it is. It's time to follow another tutorial from our art god, lord, and savior, Bob Ross. Oh, holy one, I could only hope to be as good as art as you are someday. <laughs> So if you guys are new here, I had previously done a video titled I follow a Bob Ross art tutorial. And instead of just like doing part two and like copying that exact same thing, I thought we'd spice it up a little bit. I thought that today I would follow Bob Ross's most crazy, most interesting, most difficult tutorial that he has ever produced. And guys, when I say hardest slash difficult, I don't mean that Bob Ross made a hard tutorial. I mean that in the context that, I mean the style is really different. The color palette, as you can see, is really different. The video that I'm going to do today is the only Bob Ross video in which he uses a person. And it is from a tutorial called Campfire, Season 3, Episode 10. Oh, hi, dog. You wanna leave? Then leave. I don't want you here anyway. I have my canvas all ready to go. I have it all prepped. It's ready for painting. And yeah, I feel like we can just start. Why not? Guys, unlike last video, I am prepared. So this time, I'm gonna try to put the actual paint on the canvas instead of everywhere else. Oh, welcome back. Glad to see you today. You know, in every series, there has to be a crazy day, and this is our crazy day. So we thought we'd do a painting that's really far out and that maybe it'll excite the imagination. We're gonna have a little campfire down here and all the big trees around, and we'll just sort of see what happens. And I've taken a black canvas that was painted with a flat black acrylic that was allowed to dry, and then covered the entire canvas with a alizarin crimson. So let's go. Let's start out with cad yellow on the one inch brush and we'll start, let's put it right there, and just start making little X's or crisscross strokes and working around. There we go. And just let this go. Okay, first step, uh, make some X's. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't want to take his beautiful name in vain. Like, I want to do super good on this one because he deserves only the best. Oh man, these X's are like double U's. <laughs> His looks so good already, I can't even believe it. He's so talented. Boom, campfire done. But each time, clean and dry your oh, brush before you go it. back into the center. You want that to be the brightest area in the painting. It's gonna do it. So we'll clean the brush, beat it dry, and add a little bit more of the cad yellow. And go right back in here. We're not even one minute in and I get to beat the devil out of it. This time I'm not using straight up paint thinner, by the way. I'm using actual real stuff. Oh, oh God. There we go. Yeah, Bob. He does yeah, it so fast. Let's brush up and we're ready to get serious with this. Oh. Okay, with a large brush, I'm just gonna begin blending this out. <clears throat> So far, it's like super, super Working easy. Working out where you don't want to bring a dirty brush back to the center. Don't want to ruin the beautiful bright color you have right there. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this baby out. Oh wow, that looks so pretty already. Go Bob. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Just a little bit. Dude, look at my yellow already. It's pure orange at this point. Then very gently, we take the brush strokes out just by going across the canvas. All right. Boom. And we're gonna to try to show you some things today that are a little different than anything we've done in the past, so hope you'll enjoy this one. Ah, that was a good one. Okay, now, let's take the fan brush. We'll put some Van Dyke brown on it, and maybe we're back here in the distance. We can just see the trunks of some trees and just let them sort of disappear. These are just some little trees in the background. Right here, maybe there's a bigger one. So we just push a little harder and just let it disappear. And we can put a little limb out here on him. He wants a little arm. Uh, okay. Happy little trees, here we go. I feel like my brush is gonna be way too flimsy compared to his. So we'll see if mine even works for trees. If not, I'm gonna have to whip out a better br brush. Oh yeah, it works perfect. Oh, Bob, you always know what you're doing. Look how fat my trees are, are compared to his. And we can begin applying some little leaves back here. And all we're doing is just touching the canvas, bending the brush a little bit. All we're looking for is just very basic, gentle shapes. And 
not looking for a lot of detail. So just wherever you think there might be some leaves, just drop them in. Don't really spend a lot of time worried about it. Okay, so now we're moving on to trees, which trees are usually one of the easiest things. All you do is just press in. Then that just a tiny bit here. A little yellow ochre. On the same brush? And we can just what? highlight some of these where the light's striking them from the fire. And just begin picking out little individual things and drop some little highlights on them here and there. Once again, this is just going to be background trees far away, so we don't have to spend a lot of time worrying about them. Or... His is so much darker than mine. I feel like my trees need to be darker. Yeah. We'll use a little bit of black. What could go wrong? <laughs> uh, we might have to go back on that. <laughs> now we can have fun. I'm going to take the large brush and very gently, I'm just going to blend all of this in. I want it to be very soft and very far away. So let's go right up here and watch very gently. Just still making the little crisscross strokes. Oh wow, that's just beautiful. Just blending all of it. That is so beautiful. Just let it blend away. Uh, okay, I added some more highlights and I should have not done that. <laughs> How's this looking? Okay, that is not looking cute. <laughs> It's not that he's making this hard. He's so advanced in what he's doing. And this is my second time ever doing a tutorial like this. So I will be right back. I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit. I'll be right back. 2,000 years later. Let's go right up in here and play with the fire a little bit. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in fire when I was young. Today we can do it. Gonna take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and we'll just make some little indications of some wood here. And it's all burnt. It could be just about any old way that you want it. And then let's, maybe there's some ground area right down through here that we can see. Oh. Still Van Dyke Brown. Okay, so, so a little Van Dyke Brown. Oh, this is so difficult, oh my God. It's just that he makes everything look so easy. Now, take a little bit of yellow ochre, and we can put a little bit of highlight right out here. Uh. <laughs> now, tell you what, let's put a little, let's put a little fire right here. I'm just using a little bit of cad yellow, and just touch, and just give an indication of a little bit of fire. That one seems actually really, really easy. Where's the yellow? Am I out of yellow? You know where I'm at. You know where I be. Oh God, there's a hair in my paint. <laughs> it's a dog hair. It's Bowie hair. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little campfire. Oh God. Uh, you know what this kind of looks like? It kind of looks like Goku's hair when he's in Super Saiyan mode. I see exact resemblance. <laughs> You know, last time I did this, I had used the official Bob Ross paint in official Bob Ross paint kits, and it worked so much better than this cheap Hobby Lobby paint. This Hobby Lobby paint is not worth a crap. Okay, Mr. Ross, what is next? I know what we should do. Maybe this, maybe this is a little lake out here. A little, you know, if you're gonna build a little campfire, you need to have water close by. So we'll put a little cad yellow on the large brush, go right here, touch, and pull straight down. Touch, pull straight down. And it's gonna pick up the crimson that's underneath and turn it. Ooh, that's colors. really pretty. Work from the lightest area, which would be directly under the fire, out. Wow, that is really pretty. Bob Ross, he, ooh, he knows what he is doing. That is so beautiful. Dude, just an update. Look at my shirt. <laughs> and I love this stupid shirt so much, but it was a sacrifice that had to be made. Okay. Yeah, just beat it up, just beat it up. I think if I had better paint and more thinner, because I only have like a small bottle, I think I could do a little bit better. I think I would have more flexibility, but just in general, this is a hard painting to do. Gotta add more highlights. Ah, he's going too fast. He's going too fast, Bob. Okay. But you see how quiet that makes that look. It's very, very quiet. 
Let's go right up in here. Maybe there's a big, great big tree right here. Oh no, I'm not good at trees. Big size. He just goes all the way off the canvas. I love to paint trees. They're one of the most fantastic things in nature to me. Aww. I love you, Bob. You're so pure. Now, maybe, maybe there's an old fella sitting out here warming his foots next to the fire. Okay, guys, this is the part, one of the only times, I think if not the only time that Bob Ross has ever painted a person in one of his uh, tutorials. There might be others, but I think this might be the only one. Maybe there's an old fella sitting out here warming his foots next to the fire. Maybe, maybe we'll have a cowboy out here. We'll put him a hat on. So we just start right here with a little edge of the knife and just sort of come around. We can just see part of him. He's leaning up against a tree. There's his old, the brim of his hat, little top of his hat. Maybe he sort of slumped over and there's his shoulder coming down. Maybe there's an arm. Maybe he's sort of got his foot sticking up like that. There's his leg. And these are just very basic little things. See, I should have put him in before I put the highlight. Okay, wow, okay. So not only is Bob Ross good at painting pretty much any landscape ever, he's also amazing at painting people, so. On camera, this looks like I literally just smudged paint, red and yellow paint everywhere, but I promise there's details in it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my hand. I don't trust the little knife, but I trust my hand. Oh god, these gloves are way too big for me. Uh, okay, maybe I should not have trusted my hand. <laughs> uh, I can't believe we're already almost done. <laughs> that was fast. And put a little tiny bit of a waterline indication in here. Just a small amount. Okay. Gotta be super careful. Just don't breathe. <laughs> Just don't breathe. Take it one step at a time. Okay, that kind of worked. <laughs> and I think this one's about ready for a signature. So let's take, put a signature right, right about here. You know, there comes a time when you can just absolutely piddle a paint. Oh, I love his signature. He has such a beautiful signature. His control over the brushes and the paint is like no other. Bob Ross was like, let me get a liner brush. I would say that Bob Ross is like the original ASMR. Like the calmness of his voice, the noises that his paint makes. Not only was he like the master of painting, he was also the master at ASMR. On behalf of all of us here at the station, we'd like to wish each and every one of you happy painting. We hope you have a super day. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Wow, his technique, though. So that was actually super hard. The last one that I had done, I, I joked around a lot, I messed around a lot, I was making jokes throughout the whole time, and I still had managed to get a pretty semi-decent looking painting. Not so much for this one. <laughs> Just the fact that Bob Ross can whip out this painting that requires a lot of soft hands, knowledge as to where to place the individual highlights, how to blend, Bob Ross is just a genius. <laughs> and I think if I had maybe like six, seven hours, I had a lot more thinner, I feel like I could probably get it down because you know, the problem is not Bob Ross's instructions. I think what makes this painting difficult was the fact that all the colors, they could just like that turn to mud. They could all easily blend together. The colors that we worked with today just suck in the highlights. Just the fact that Bob Ross managed to make a person using only this, that's pretty incredible. Basically what I'm trying to say guys is that Bob Ross was and always will be on another level. His ability to paint was just out of this world. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, of course, if you want to follow all my socials, I will leave them down below. I will link the video down below too if you want to try out this tutorial. You'll probably do better than me. And with that being said, I will see you guys next video. Bye!